The log report provides us with a detailed log of all changes made against our data within the Patricia system. Why would this be useful? The main advantage of logging changes is to troubleshoot issues. Let's say a Patricia user picks up that a catchword on a case does not match what was originally recorded on the filing form. This then is the ideal situation to use the log reports. You can go and check the catchword log to identify when changes were made, what was changed and by whom. Also these logs serves as a history of sorts for each case, showing what data changed and when. Do take note that some setup is required to gain full benefit from the log reports. Your super user needs to decide what information is to be logged and this is done in the maintenance application. Let's click on the first type of report called audit log. The audit log reports are split into several options, each dealing with a specific set of information. First we have the general search report which gives us overview information. We then have case specific reports followed by predefined reports, party log reports and diary changes. Also note that these reports can be accessed from the report drop down menu by clicking on report and then log list. Before we continue it's important to know the following. Changes within Patricia are logged under one of three action types. The first is insert or add and refers to data that's been created in the system. The next is update which means data that already existed but has undergone some kind of change or have been altered in some way. This will then get the label update. The last action is called delete and this is simply data that has been deleted or removed from our system. Keep an eye out for these three action types as we run our reports. The general search report allows us to search for log entries by specific areas. Let's demonstrate this. A practical example is that I want to check which catchwords were changed against my cases. How do I do this? First, let's choose the area that is relevant. The area drop-down defines where we are going to perform our search. We can limit the search to case area, the name area and maintenance application. We will choose case information for now. The sub area drop down limits our search further. I wish to see catchword changes so I will choose basic case information. In the area field we can limit the search even more. Here I will choose catchword. We can of course limit the time period in these fields but we will leave this as is for now. We also have a login ID field and a department field available as additional criteria. I'm happy with my selection so let's click on view. Our audit report now appears. Take a look at the information that appears on the report. We can clearly see the type of update that occurred under the type column. Most importantly though is that we can see the old value what the catchword was changed from and the new value what the catchword was changed to. Next we have the case log report. This is similar to the general search. But instead of searching by areas, we instead search on case type, country, application type and service level. Let's demonstrate. Select trademark from the case type drop down. We are going to limit this report to a single family of cases. To do so, add in the family number in the family number field. This criteria should be sufficient for our report, so let's click on view. Our report appears showing the many changes made to this case. The third option is the predefined reports, which are reports that are pre-built with specific information in mind. Here we can check which terms were regenerated or deleted during a specific time period, and we can also access the daily account entries. The next report deals with party changes that may have occurred on cases. The criteria here are similar to what we've seen before with the exception of a field called role type. This new field allows you to search for changes that occurred against a specific name type. 
Let's check what changes were made in our system on applicant entries. We will also limit this to a specific period. Choose the time start date and the end date by clicking on the drop down arrow. Now choose the role type we want to check. We chose applicant so I will select that entry. Click on view to generate your report. The last report is the diary log. And like the name suggests, here we check changes that were made against diary entries. The criteria is once again quite similar to what we've seen before, except for the diary field. In this drop down, you can choose which diary field to check. Let's run a report that checks application number changes. Choose application number in the drop down and then click view. Our report is generated.